Hi guys, Patrick here from Behringer Tech Support. Today we're going to do a quick little video. Uh, we've got a BCF 2000 MIDI controller here. We're going to use this to control the X32 Mac app on a MacBook Pro, which is connected via Wi-Fi uh, through this router here to the X32 rack. This is a handy application because obviously here on the X32 rack we have no physical fader control so using the BCF we are going to be able to control all the faders, all the pans, all the mutes via the X32 app. So let's get into that. So first things first we'll connect the USB cable to the BCF2000, we'll connect the other end to the computer and then we'll turn on the BCF. So to use the BCF2000 with the X32 control app, we need to run the BCF in Mackie control mode. Uh, the Mackie control protocol is what the X32 app uh, needs to communicate with the BCF. So to do this, it's really simple. Uh, all we need to do is hold this button down while we power up. So here we're in uh, normal BC mode. So I'm gonna turn off. So hold down this button. It's the second on the top row from the left. Hold that down, power up. Here you're gonna see MC flash. Uh, it now says EG, so all you need to do is just hit this exit. Uh, the faders will align themselves at the bottom there, and it shows here on the screen that we are running in MC mode. So uh, now we can get connecting to the app, so let's take a look at that. So once you've established connection with your X32 here in the app, you wanna go over here to the remote page. Um, this is the section we need to worry about, though, just the remote interface and the Mackie control enable. So in the remote interface, you should see your BCF2000. Uh, just select this for MIDI input, select it for MIDI output as well, as it is already here. And if you move over here to the left on the Mackie control enable button here, uh, we, we just want to enable Mackie control mode. There we go. And as you see, the faders, as soon as I hit enable, um, flew into place. Uh, they hold the same positions as are held on the app, so that's a good sign. Uh, that shows everything seems to be working. So let's get into what channels and parameters we can now control. So here on the app, I'm gonna tab over here to the meters page, just so we have a little overview of the fader section. Um, obviously, we are on the first bank of eight. Now to change banks on the BCF, it's a simple case of using these arrow buttons here on the preset. Uh, we can just tab left and right. Um, so we're on bank one, and as you can see here, we can control all these faders on bank one. Uh, what I will mention before we start is, obviously, we can also control the pan. So if I flick here on the home page here, we're looking at channel one on the app. Uh, if you just look here where my mouse cursor is, this is the pan right here, this knob here. So obviously the encoders are going to control the pan, so I can just pan this one left. Uh, we can do different settings here on all the eight channels of that bank. And obviously this is continuous all through the bank, so uh, if I just show you seven here, and uh, channel seven, as you can see, all these pans are working. I can just flick through and now these will hold different pan positions as you can see on the app there. Um, also another thing to point out is the top row of buttons represent the mute. So I can just hit mute here. Um, the bottom row of buttons represents the channel that is selected so I can just tab over here and um, you know I can go on the channel I want. Let's do the pan. So uh, you know the fader. So this is the bank selection, and these are the mutes. That's the pans and the faders. So let's keep going across the banks. So if I now flip to the next bank, that's going to be nine to sixteen. If you look over on the app, you can see the faders are flying nicely. We can add all the mutes. Obviously, if I select this one, I can control the pan. I mean, obviously, you don't need to select to control the pan. We can just control the pans as is on that particular bank. Um, so let's fly over to the next bank. I'll change over here on the app to channel 1732 so we can see it. And there we have control over the faders, the mutes. 
so you get the idea and I can select that and I can move the pan so it's the same same idea there again so the next bank would be uh, channels 24 to 32 so let's go to the next one this is the AUX returns page so here we have your six AUX returns um, this channel here is going to be a stereo channel. Yeah, there we go. So even stereo configuration is held nicely. Um, this is for the USB recorder, USB player. Um, so let's go over to the next bank. Uh, this is the effects returns, which at the moment are set to stereo returns. So obviously we have stereo control. Um, and obviously the same process here, I can select this one, I can do the pan which is obviously set to left as it's stereo, um, you know we've got the stereo mutes going on so yeah, as you can see MC mode works really nicely with the X32 app, you can get around it quickly um, and everything is just set up to go once you're in MC mode, not much setting up is needed. Okay, so let's go over to the next bank, which will be the buses. So I'll flick here on the app to the bus master page. And we have control over bus 1 to 8 over here. Obviously, mutes are controllable. Uh, we can control the pans, as you can see on the app. So everything's working there, as you would expect. So the next bank is obviously the bus 9 to 16, so they all work fine. We have the FX 1 to 4 channels as they're set over here. So the next bank on, if you look over here on the app on the right side, I'm going to select the matrix, that's the next bank. Um, something to point out here, something that should be taken into account. I'll flick over to the bank. So obviously we have matrix channels one to six here. Now the difference is here, channel seven. If you notice here on the app where my cursor, my mouse cursor is, channel seven is actually an unused channel in the X32 system. On all X32s, the, uh, the, this particular channel is, it's, it's an unused channel. There's no need for it. So what they've done here in the Mackie protocol mode, they've used this as the master. So on the bank of the matrix, um, channel seven, fader seven, will actually be the master channel. As you can see here, it's controlling the master. So that's something to take note of. Um, you know, it works just the same as any channel. You've got the pans, you've got the mutes, you can select it. But obviously that is the master channel. Uh, number eight is the MC channel over here and then the last bank is the DCA 128 and obviously we can control all these DCAs and there we go that's it that's the run through of all the channels all the parameters you can control with the BCF in Mackie mode with the X32 control app I hope you found this video helpful guys thanks a lot see ya